not only was 9-11 evidence covered up, okay, but here's my most important point here, is, is that the U.S. government and our military, through our wars and our ability, our scientific analysis, okay, of psyoping and how to implement it, the impact, for instance, even if it's a matter of bombing a neighborhood and figuring out what the impact of that bombing is by getting into the local community, finding out you know what the, where the resistance is, who's saying what, who's doing what, they're actually employing a method by which they see people act naturally and speak naturally, and they're angered or they're they've got certain political views, but they know how to real time go in there and kind of take the temperature of the local population in order to figure out how to manipulate them. Don't, do you think right. that, that they have, and that's just the PSYOP side of it, okay? Do you right. think that they've actually employed those same things here in the United States on us by, by perpetrating a horrific crime, killing 3,000 people, and then going in real time to figure out how everyone is reacting to it, and they're molding and shaping our minds as we start to develop our, our stories and we got even uh, as a matter of I have no doubt I mean you know I would cite the example in relation to the 9-11 research mm -hmm. uh, that uh, when Dr. Ward and myself went on to uh, WPFW in Washington in, in the early 2008 mm -hmm. to present the research uh, you know which connects 9-11 to the Hudson effect and explain what that meant because right. you know not that many people have heard of it. Right. Uh, within 16 hours of making that broadcast, a new tactic emerged and was adopted. And this character that uh, was, was called Ace Baker, Alexander uh, Baker, um, he then sort of went on a mission and made it his mission to attack and character assassinate John Hutchison. Yes. And it's like, you, you know, so somebody must have been watching what we were doing and then when we did what we did, they kicked in this plan mm -hmm. to to deal with that. And uh, I, I don't think particularly that particular part of the plan was particularly successful, but it was nevertheless had had an effect. Um, and we've seen that sort of thing over and over again over the last few years in in the areas of research that w that we've been working in. And it, of course, it's not limited to those areas. It happens happens all of it. it happens with with health researchers, for example who, uh, you know, are actually trying to, um, uh, you know, cure people of cancer, they're, they're immediately tar targeted and character assassinated and worse. So... Per perfect. Uh, do you mind? I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm sorry to interrupt your flow because we're going to be pressed for time here. And I want to make sure okay. that everybody knows we're going commercial uninterrupted. I'm going to take a very brief break at the top of the hour. But we're going to segue. Listen to this. Now, I'm not even going to... Well, I'm going to mention his name once, and that's it. Okay, because I'm done dealing with this guy. I figured out how irrelevant he is, and we can just go right around him. But let me give you an example of the methods that are employed right in front of everybody with the likes of a gentleman named Ace Baker, who you don't know who he is, and another person that I have basically accomplished my goal of studying him, learning him, figuring him out, crushing him in the public light, and now I'm done with him. But Mr. James Fetzer, who is a professional psy -oper, okay? But listen to this. Th these are the tactics that are employed with these people. Listen to this. Uh, corporations are inherently immoral. So it's really gross. This is a serious problem we have in the United States and in other free market. Now, what you're listening to is a man who does this show on the radio, and he employs something called NLP, Neural Linguistic Programming. He speaks to you in a very hypnotic way. You don't even know this is being done to you. Not only that, setting up scenarios, shocking scenarios, to control the audience and create drama and manipulate you. And you don't even know this stuff is going on, ladies and gentlemen, until years afterwards. Listen to this conversation with James Fetzer and Ace Baker. This is all fabricated right in front of your ears. Uh, situations where ours is, of course, a highly qualified form. We have all kinds of crony capitalism, welfare, corporate welfare, and all this kind of stuff. What are we doing giving $700 billion to the bankers and financiers who got us into this mess? They would have been, um, the country would have been much better off if they took that money and divided it up and gave it to the taxpayers, everyone making less than $250,000 a year, in my opinion. But I turn the mic back to you, Ace. Well, you know, um I guess when it comes to um, economics, uh, we, you know, we don't. Uh, we just this is Ace Baker, folks, and this is a staged event. 
just agree to disagree. Um, and I'll, I'll fully admit that uh, that I'm the weird one. You know, I'm I'm the um, the one who doesn't belong, really. Um, even even after 9/11, you know, most people um, they support government, and um, I know that you're um, optimistic about this uh, this new administration. Um, I'm not. I, I I don't accept the legitimacy of government uh, per se. Uh, I've asked and I've asked, and um, nobody can really give me a justification for the state. Well, I mean, well see, if, this is this is why I wanted you to read. Uh, let let me go on, Jim. I mean, if 9/11 won't convince people that that government is evil, then nothing will. I I, I think what I've learned is that that people want government. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm stopping this right now. I want you to right now, whatever you're doing in the chat room, on Twitter, everything, I want you to listen to what was employed on everyone's brains by a man named Jace, uh, I'm sorry, Ace Baker and James Fetzer. And it isn't until la- years later that we understand why they did this. You need to listen to this. This is a stage event. This is a PSYOP right here. They support what government does, and what government does is murder, theft, and counterfeiting. Well, um, everybody else uh, evidently has no problem with that, but I, I just can't accept it. I described. I tried uh, really hard to produce good science about the 9/11 airplane videos, and I, I succeeded. Uh, I proved video compositing. I did. I solved 9-11, but nobody cares. Well, I don't know why. Not even that. anyone within this so-called truth movement. I mean, Dylan Avery, he got co-opted, and he ruined his movie, and, and, and Stephen Jones lied to me, and he lied to everyone. Judy Wood lied, and Rob Balsamo lied, and Simon Shack's movies, you might like them, they're completely false. They're 99% false. And I've been banned from every so-called truth forum out there, and Kill Town, and and Fred, their Ace, I, I care so I care so much I care so much about your work. About me, and I can't take it anymore. Ace, I, I can't. I care so I much about your work. To just that I stop regu- doing 9/11. Ace, Ace, I just Ace, to Ace, look, 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 look. My People daughters. who are very, listen to me a second. Uh, People who are very original in in the field are often not appreciated at the time. I have so much. Uh, Confidence in your work that is a prominent part of the new book I'm editing on the 9/11 controversies. I feature you regularly on this I program. Just, I, look, I, just, I feature I need you. To say to my daughters, you know, girls, I, I I love you, and I know that 9/11 has taken a lot of me away from you, and I'm sorry for that. And I hope that someday that you'll forgive me for that. And um, to my wife, Claire. I just want to say that I love you, and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for everything. And to my parents, um, Mom, Dad, uh, I, I miss you. And, and I want to come home. Ace, I, you I want to come hard, home. Friend. We need you, Ace. We need you. I need I, you. The world needs you. These oh, are temporary. On. These are temporary problems of innovators in their fields are frequently unappreciated. My God, Al Galileo was prosecuted by, subjected to an inquisition, prosecuted by the church. Galileo, for God's sake! I'm coming home. I hope this is not for real, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to stop the recording right there. I'm not going to play any more to you. This is the number one reason why I'm going after people like this guy. And I'm the last time I'm going to say his name, James Fetzer. This man is a psyop who has not only been suspected of per- perpetrating these crimes as a treasonous bastard against the American public who are listening to shows like that. 
This event was staged. And why? Because Ace Baker is still alive. And he left an indelible impression on the listeners that this guy in his final words was to plant in people's brains that Dr. Judy Wood lied to him. And as a result of the 9-11 stuff that he'd come across, he was going to take his life. What drama and, most importantly, what psyoping. Now, Andrew Johnson, this is the level of techniques that no one ever, ever suspects is being perpetrated upon them by the likes of a guy named James Fester. And this is what's been going on for the past 10 years. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, when when I heard that, I mean, I didn't... Uh, somebody sent me an email saying that Ace Baker had faked his own suicide on air, you know, and I, 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 I thought, no, should, that's, they must have got that wrong, you know, and then I went and actually listened to the clip, and, and sure enough, that that's what happened, and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, apparently Fetzer called the cops, and, I mean, it's just ridiculous. And, I mean, w- another thing that I've seen, when you get somebody to either the point where they're going to have to turn towards the truth or turn away from it... Mm-hmm then under certain circumstances if they're what we tend to call a troll they go into self-destruct mode Mm -hmm. and uh it's like you know it's like uh there's that famous star trek story called the changeling where you have this machine and uh you know uh, i think captain kirk fuses its logic circuits and it it kind of goes into this self-destruct mode and then explodes you know Mm -hmm. and i've seen this happen several times not a lot but it's it's like there's some program running in these people and then it goes out of control and they right. just become irrational. That's right. Uh, they they become, you know, laughable almost. Um, and they just, they the, whatever comes out of their mouth is almost can, certainly not true. Can I ask you, you know, something? And, and this is important and you're absolutely right. I'm going to ask you this question. I want you to convey this to our audience. And then I want to finish on the psyoping side and I'm going to transition to something we're calling sidejacking. So... On a final note here, do you, tell me if you agree with this, that they study the awakening. They figure out how people are waking up. People like uh, like this guy, Fetzer and Gordon Duff and all those people, they use honeypots, they use websites, they use uh, yeah. forums, and they want to see how you're waking up and figure out what you know and what you're starting to know. That way they can quash it. Don't they do that real time? Absolutely, yeah. It, I mean, it's you know, it's in their it's in their manuals. It's it's called perception management. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the, the, that is the key phrase. You know, you can look at these. How do you manage the perception of the people that you know are in the war zone, or right. you know, the, the, either the civilians or the opposing forces, and 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 you can see those tactics work primarily on the forums. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and uh, well, how do you overcome them? You have to figure out what needs to be overcome. Yes, yes, and you have to. Uh, I think you have to keep do- keep documentation to see how things develop and change. Right, and you, I think you also have to accept that you're dealing with an insidious uh, intelligence, yeah. which is, uh, as we would call it, it's evil, and it is uh, always one, two, three, four, five, six, right. or more steps ahead of you. One final and- note on the psyoping side. I'm sorry, just because we're pressed for time, I'm going to bring Dr. Okay. Judy in. Okay. Um, the scripting, like when they say, oh, the media is scripted, the media is doing this, oh, they're laying out this stuff. The PSYOP and the scripting is actually real time being developed based yes. on what the people know. Don't you agree with that? I would agree with that, yes. 